Good morning everyone. Welcome back to your English online class. Today we are going to learn punctuations from your cornerstone chapter 25 punctuations. Let's read these sentences aloud with the correct expressions. The soldiers have arrived. The soldiers have arrived. The soldiers have arrived. Each of these sentences conveys a different idea. When we speak, we pause, stop or change the tone of our voice to make our meaning clear. We cannot do this when we write. When writing, we use punctuation marks such as commas and question marks to make our meaning clear. Punctuation marks carry out the same function as poses and stress in speech. The most commonly used punctuation marks are full stop, comma, mark of interrogation, mark of exclamation, quotation marks or inverted commas, the full stop or period stands for the longest pose. We use a full stop at the end of assertive and imperative sentence. For example, switch on the fan. Soft drinks are bad for health. The comma indicates the shortest pose. There are a number of different uses of the comma. You have learned that a comma is used to separate a series of words in a list. For example, the boy is clever, honest and brave. They would like books, magazines, DVDs, video cassettes and other learning materials for their library. We use the comma to separate each pair of words of the same class or kind. For example, king and pauper, young and old, man and woman will meet the same fate. The comma is used to set off a noun address. For example, mother, I have finished the chorus. We use a comma to separate the date and year from the rest of the sentence. For example, on 14 March 1879, Albert Einstein was born. The comma is used after yes and no in sentence. For example, no, you will not eat the whole cake. Yes, I can swim. The comma is used to separate statements from question tags. For example, you didn't buy the bread, did you? The comma is used to introduce a direct quote. It separates the quote from the rest of the sentence. She said, I want to watch the film. Let us learn about some other punctuation marks. The mark of interrogation is used at the end of an interrogative sentence. Have you seen the Taj Mahal? Do you want to have dinner? The exclamation mark is used at the end of a sentence to indicate great surprise. It is also used for emphasis when making a point. What a song! I can't believe he has done so badly in his exams. Oh, you scared me. Note the importance of capital letters in writing. Every sentence begins with a capital letter. Mary wants to take teaching lessons. Every new line of a poem also begins with a capital letter. There was an old man in a tree whose whiskers were lovely to see, but the birds of the air liked them perfectly bare to make themselves nest in that tree. All proper nouns and adjectives formed from them start with a capital letter. For example, July, Wednesday, Kolkata, Spain, Spanish, Rachel, October, November, etc. All nouns and pronouns indicating the divine begin with a capital letter. For example, God to perform miracles. 
The first word of a direct quotation always begins with a capital letter. He said, treat her as you would your own daughter. The pronoun I is always written in the capital letter. The quotation marks are used to cut another person's words exactly whether they be spoken or written. The principal said, we must act this responsibility. Philip asked, do you need this book? Double quotation marks can also be used to cut someone's words. A full stop can also be used in abbreviations but they are often omitted in the modern style for example mp or mp mla or mla ma or ma we do not use a comma between the last two words in the series instead we use the conjunction and so now let's recap the chapter there are 14 punctuation marks that are commonly used in english grammar they are the period question mark exclamation point comma semicolon colon dash hyphen parenthesis bracket braces apostrophe quotation marks and ellipses So this is all for today. I hope everyone understood the uses of different kinds of punctuations in English. Stay home, stay safe. Thank you.